Hello readers, today's story is Fussy Flamingo. So I know somebody who's a fussy eater or a picky eater doesn't like to try new things. So let's see who this Fussy Flamingo is. Let's get started. Mommy's neck curves gracefully this morning. Your feathers will color soon, Lola. Poppy struts with a kick in his step. Eat your fill of shrimp. When Mommy and Poppy turn their backs to wade to deeper waters, Lola sticks out her tongue. Hmm, so maybe she's the fussy eater. Maybe she doesn't want to try shrimp. Let's see. Lola dillies on her right leg. Lola dallies on her left leg. She dips her black tip beak into the water. But when no one notices, Lola slips away. She dawdles below trees heavy with berries and sidesteps of falling fruit. Lola lingers at the shattered shell. So she won't try shrimp, but she is going to try one of these avocados. Let's see what's going to happen. I did me, Mommy cries. What did you eat? Poppy asks. Lola chirps. I ate a creamy avocado. Please eat shrimp, Poppy presses. Shrimp gives your feathers a healthy blush. The next morning, Mommy squawks. I'm so hungry. She scoops up shrimp. Poppy hollers, oh, me too. And he plops his beak into the water. Shrimp tastes so yummy. Shrimp are soggy, sulks Lola. Mommy and Poppy wade to deeper waters, though they swing their necks back over their wings to watch Lola. Lola dillies on her right leg. Lola dallies on her left leg. She dips her black tip beak into the water. But when no one notices, Lola slips away. She dawdles among evergreen shrubs dotted with pretty globes. Lola lingers at the bright fruits. So again, no shrimp for Lola, but she will try some of these fruits. Let's see what's gonna happen. I did me, mommy cries. What did you eat, Poppy asks. Lola chirps. I ate sweet pepino melons. Please eat shrimp, Mommy urges. Shrimp help your eyes see far. The next morning, Poppy flaps his feet to stir up the mucky bottom. Mommy slurps shrimp from the murky waters. Shrimp tastes so yummy. Shrimp are muddy, moats Lola. Mommy and Poppy inch ever so slowly toward deeper waters. Lola dillies on her right leg. Lola dallies on her left leg. She dips her black tip beak into the water. Mommy and Poppy keep their eyes peeled. The day grows nearly dark, but when no one notices, Lola slips away. Here she goes again. She dawdles along a pebbly path and spies flowers blooming in a moonbeam. Lola lingers at the scaly bulbs. Ooh, so she cracked it open and there are these black seeds or spots inside. So I know when she ate the avocado, she turned green. And when she ate the pepino melon, she turned yellow. So I wonder what color she's going to turn this time. Let's see. I did me, mommy cries. What did you eat? Poppy asks. Lola chirps. I ate a juicy dragon fruit. Please eat shrimp, Poppy pleads. Shrimp makes your wings strong for flying. The next morning, Mommy begs Lola to eat just one bite of shrimp. 
Shrimp are yummy. Shrimp are yucky, Lola puckers. Have you tried shrimp, Poppy asks. Lola pouts, no. How do you know you don't like shrimp, Mommy asks. I guess, Lola shilly shallies, I could try shrimp. Lola lulls along the shoreline. Lola dillies on her right leg. Lola dallies on her left leg. She dips her black tip beak into the water and sweeps up one ever so small shrimp. She snaps up the shrimp. Lola loves yummy shrimp. You did eat shrimp, Mommy and Poppy say. I did, Lola chirps. How did you know? So how do you think Mommy and Poppy know that she finally tasted shrimp? So this book was so interesting. I really liked the story. So the story is fiction, but there is this nonfiction page of flamingo facts at the end of the book. So let's look at some of these flamingo facts. The first section says, in the pink, flamingo chicks hatch with a white or grayish colored feathers. They are fed pink food from day one. Flamingos feed their young a deep pink drink called crop milk. Still, chicks' feathers take two to three years to turn pink, like their parents, so a little bit longer than Lola's. Then right underneath that, there's a section called Five Fast Flamingo Facts. So fact one, flamingos make honking noises like geese. Fact two, the fresh water that flamingos drink can be nearly boiling hot. Fact three, flamingos are strong swimmers. Fact four, the largest colony of flamingos live in East Africa, a group of more than one million birds. And fact five, flamingos live for 20 to 30 years in the wild. There's another sidebar there in the center called Fast Friends. It says, only five days or so after hatching, the chicks start to explore together. In two to three weeks, these small groups of chicks join each other. Chicks are then kept by an adult or two in very large group called creeches. It's like preschool for flamingo chicks. Then at the top, it says birds of a feather feed together. Flamingo eat foods with red orange colorings in them and don't typically munch on tropical fruits like Lola. Some favorite foods are shrimp, algae, mollusk, small fish, and small insects. These foods stain their feathers pink. When a feather is molted, which means falls out, the feather loses its pink coloring. That's interesting. Right underneath it says, where oh where? Six species or kinds of flamingos flock all over the world. Whether along warm coastlines or atop cool mountain ranges, flamingos live near shallow salty waters. That's where they can eat their favorite foods. Lola is a Chilean flamingo. She lives in South America where avocados, pepino melons, and dragon fruits grow. Lola's new favorite pink staining food, tiny shrimp, brine flies, and algae fill South American lakes, lagoons, and wetlands. And then the last section is a list of websites where you can find out more flamingo information. Well, readers, I hope you enjoyed this book. I certainly did. See you next time in the Media Center.